Wonderful. <laughs> My mum says you are a twit. <laughs> And I've got a letter here from Nicola, age nine, and Debbie, age seven, who live near Southampton, who write suggesting a practical joke to play on their daddy. And they add the P.S. They say, please play it soon before he's too old. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a letter too. I haven't opened it yet. It's from the income tax. <laughs> it says, dear Kelly. Oh, it worked very well last week, but I'm going to try it again. <laughs> No. Good. You're very burly, and so are you. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Bill. Bill, and where do you come from? Bethnal Green. Bill? Bethnal Green. Bill from Bethnal Green. Richard. Richard Ilford. from Ilford. Bill from uh, Bethnal Green and Richard from Ilford. Now, there's only one snag, gentlemen. You are both exceptionally burly, but we do. It's not this one that you've come to collect. No. I'm going to take you to it. Ready to walk this way with a strange lady? Yes. Good. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Now, Bill, if I can put you just over here for a second, my love, in the blue. You're matching beautifully. And Richard, if you could come just round that way in there. That's it. So then everybody can see you. Now, this is the a part of London Weekend Television that you don't normally see. It's the scene dock. And these two are about to make a scene, I suspect. Gentlemen, the Game for a Laugh Award, um, have you guessed what I'm going to say to you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you're there for it. <laughs> Very quick, isn't he? You can, you, you can use any um, instruments that you find hanging around. There aren't an awful lot, but you've got your hands and legs and bumpsy daisy, all that sort of thing. See, the problem was we gave the award to Matthew to take home and he put it in the fridge with his yogurt. But I'm sure that you two will sort it. You'll hack it. I'll leave you to it and I think we'll see you later on in the show. Okay. Best of luck. Thank you. <laughs> Now, you know, on Game for Laugh, we've always promised you that we bring you ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And I think in this regard, we can say that we've tried to get the very best of the great British eccentrics who are around. Recently, for example, I met a man called Charles Abbott. And on that particular investigation, I was stopped. Neither by burning sand nor blazing sun. <laughs> the desert. A challenge to man. How can he survive here? Under a boiling sun out west, only the cactus thrives. But Game for a Laugh tells its story. And the West we've won is Exeter. <laughs> and you will, of course, have recognized number 87 Mount Pleasant Road, where Charles Abbott lives with his modest collection of cactuses. There's quite a number of them, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> what actually is going on here? Look, there's well, steam rising up there, John. Ah, oh, yes, and what we do here, we give it a Turkish bath. A, wait, a, a Turkish bath? Yeah, a Turkish bath. After a bath, chuck them, chuck them in there. Right, them the right. Wizard. Is there anywhere left in the house? I mean, where you sleep yourself? <laughs> oh, I have them in there to keep me comfortable, you know. Somebody to talk to at night, yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. It's peaceful sleep, you know, a nice dream. Among yeah. the cacti. Among guys. the cacti. Among yeah. the cacti, yeah. In my pursuit for I met a man called Charlie Force. Was this a code name? 800 hours, I left the house on a lightly boiled egg. 3 a.m., he slipped out of Newquay, unobserved with a secret weapon. The rendezvous, a pond in Surrey. We met just in time for 11's. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Well, it just holds two or three people and takes you under water in comfort. You obviously didn't run it up in your lunch hour. Oh, no, no. It's been 12 years from beginning to, to now. Yeah. Does it really work? Oh, yes, it works. Charlie, what's, what's this bit up here? Well, I put that on so I'd have all round visibility. So it's an observational... Yes, that's right. You've got 360-degree vision. What actually makes it go, then, well, Charlie? Well, behind that bulkhead, there's yeah. a 1,500cc diesel engine. Yeah. Where did uh, you get that from? Oh, an old post office van. You're quite fond of this, aren't you? Oh, it's quite a nice place. Yeah, yeah. lovely. I could sleep here. Yes. I'm getting... <laughs> Get out into the... Well, not out into the... Out into the water. Oh, yes, yeah. I'll start the engine up and we'll trundle forward, if you like. 
enough to find four eccentrics in Plymouth, Devon. Um, they, in fact, came from HMS Amazon. They're four sailors. And I'm delighted to say that in a world where machines are constantly taking over from men, this is one occasion where men are taking over from machines. Come on in, roll up, roll up. What can I see over there? Roll up, roll up. Everyone's winning. No one ever loses. Ten for you do. Right, break the box. Right, here we go then. Just pull the arm down. Hey! Dink. 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 Oh, no, we saw it. Pull your arm. Whoosh. What we got, what we got, what we got. What we got, what we got. Dink.